The earth is like an onion. It stinks. No, wait, it's got layers. Sometimes it rumbles, sometimes it shakes, and sometimes it just erupts. But its complicated personality is caused by structural and chemical differences in those layers, and not the fact that it's some kind of green ogre. So let's explain the structure of the earth. First, there's the upper layer, the crust. The crust is like the thin outer layer of a piece of bread. It's chemically different from the layers below it, and you can tell that because it tastes different. Also, it's very thin compared to the whole slice. The crust can be either continental or oceanic, and it ranges from about 5 kilometers thick on the ocean floor to about 70 kilometers thick on the Earth's tallest mountains. Under the crust is the Earth's mantle, an iron-rich zone of rocks that lies underneath the crust. This would be like the center of the bread. The Earth's mantle is chemically different from the crust. It would taste different if it weren't like a thousand degrees. Also, just like how the middle of the bread actually makes up most of the slice, the mantle actually makes up most of the Earth by volume, about 85%. The mantle does all kinds of cool stuff. In a lot of ways, it's what shapes the crust. In some places, it's hotter than others, and that leads to volcanoes like Hawaii. In other places, the crust is plunged downwards into the mantle, which causes mountains like the Andes and the mountains on the west coast of North America. Without the Earth's mantle, the Earth's crust would be super flat and that would be annoying. The next of the parts of the Earth is the outer core, which is made up of liquid iron. When the Earth spins, the outer core kind of sloshes around. This is what's responsible for generating the majority of the Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from all kinds of extraterrestrial radiation. Without it, life on Earth would be impossible. Thanks, outer core. Finally, the Earth is hard core. That is, it has a hard or solid inner core, again made up of mostly metallic elements like iron and nickel. It's super hot, over 5,000 degrees Celsius, that's about the temperature of the sun. Even though it's the smallest layer, only about 1% by volume, the inner core plays a key role in helping the outer core generate our sweet, sweet magnetic field. If you're wondering what the structure of the Earth looks like, that's it. And just so you know, the structure of the Earth diagram really looks kind of like this. We just exaggerate the layers to make it easier to see. That's all great, but how do we know the structure of the Earth? Have humans actually traveled to the center of the Earth? The answer might surprise you, it's earthquakes. When earthquakes happen, things called seismic waves are generated, which travel through the earth over long distances. The waves act differently based on whether the layer they're traveling through is liquid or solid or what density it has. Really smart scientists called geophysicists can work backwards to piece together the layers. So that's the answer to what are the layers of the earth. Hope you enjoyed our facts about the structure of the earth and its different layers. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons or follow me on one of my socials, including my new TikTok. Thanks everyone. Until next time, class dismissed.